Hi, my name is Ben Paik, and we're gonna make this coffee table using recycled skateboards. But, you can hang it. Okay, so remember these pieces, and we're gonna save these two different sections for future projects. These are the nose and the tails of the skateboards, but not all of these are in good condition like this one. A lot of times they're chipped, broken, chipped, broken, chipped, broken. So the best way to utilize these broken pieces is to cut it into smaller pieces. And today, we're gonna cut a circle using the hole saw. back tomorrow and sand these down. Whew. Let's go. Okay, so we actually have two different circles here. One of them is going to be a solid color like this one. But the other one, there's a little lip to it. And so we're gonna sand it down until we expose all the different colors that skateboards have to offer. Cool? Is it just me or do they look like poker chips? back tomorrow and glue this up. Okay, the 
This is a sheet of maple plywood. We're gonna mark some lines so that we can drill holes using the Forstner bit. Okay, so I sand these little circles down so that it just barely passes the second veneer of the maple plywood. And I could always adjust a little bit to make sure it's flush at the top. You get the point, right? So, I have all the colors that I want to use laid out here, but there's a slight gap in each of the circles. Last time I tried to make this, I used a black dye and it stained the wood. So, I asked around and Paul Jackman said, grout works great with epoxy and it doesn't stain the wood. So, I'm going to use this. And to hold these pieces in place so that it doesn't move, I'm going to use a hot glue gun. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. Okay, let's sand it down.
metal legs to it to turn it into a coffee table, or you could just hang it. video if you like this video please subscribe and do me a favor read the description <laughs>